it's Kay Beast, and for this week's art video I am doing a watercolor painting that is a fan art piece of a series of unfortunate events. Um, last month Netflix aired their mini-series, like, well not mini-series, season one of the show, and I binge watched it in like two days and was planning on doing fan art then but struggled with the idea of it so it got set aside and I finally did it for this week's video and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, there's a couple of, I had a couple of issues with a few things, but overall I had a lot of fun with this piece. Um, so for this piece, I, my initial sketch that I did about a month ago was of the three Baudelaire's and it was a full body shot and I was going to do something weird with the background, but I hadn't decided what to do yet. And I wound up discarding that sketch because the poses seemed really stiff and the anatomy was a little off and it just compositionally it wasn't really interesting so I scrapped it did something else and I decided that for this one I would do the three Baudelaire's again but I would zoom in and do sort of like a waist up or a, a bust shot of the three of them with um, Count Olaf in the background looming so that's what I decided to do um, I did the inking using my speedball ink and a brush for the entire thing and while I do enjoy inking with this method I had some issues with the ink I think I might have um, probably didn't wait enough for the ink to dry before moving on to masking and watercoloring because I got some bleeding issues not a, not crazy but it was enough that it bothered me <laughs> so yeah I, I need to wait next time but I was kind of in a rush to get this done because I'm out of town this weekend and I wanted to make sure I finished it um, so the first thing I did is I masked off some areas and then I kind of had fun with the background doing dripping and stuff. So some of the shots here might be a little difficult to see, but I basically turned the painting upside down and dripped some paint around and threw some salt down and I wound up doing a second layer of this later after doing some shadows because some of the um, textures faded a bit. But yeah, I really wanted the background to be really textural and really interesting, so I did that. And then I went in and um, painted the foreground. So for this particular piece, I did a lot of new things that I've never really done before. Um, I did a lot of that. I don't know what the name of the technique is, but it's when you put a thin layer of watercolor and you pick it up with with like a tissue paper, paper towel, and then you put more to build up a color. I don't know what the name of that technique is, but that's what I did. And I also used the paper towel as a texturing tool. And um, I got a little adventurous with color as well, which was a lot of fun, and I definitely want to play with that more. Um, the only major like complaint I really had about this piece was Klaus. His head and his face really did not look right, and it bothered me, but I, I wanted just to get it done, so I just kind of... This was actually the second time I drew his face. I wound up doing a second sketch just to try to make it better. And this one is better than my initial sketch, but it still bugs me, so... Whatever, I, I'll deal with it. Um, but I did have a lot of fun with the color and the texturing in this piece. So, um, so anyway, as far as um, a series of unfortunate events goes, um, I uh, I read a few of the books when I was younger when they first came out. My brother had like two of them, and I read those. And I saw the movie, which wasn't great. And if my cat, if you can hear my cat, he's bugging me. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed the series, but I never had actually finished it. And then um, the show came out, and I I knew I would want to watch it. I enjoyed the series when I first got into it. So, um, like I said, I binge watched the TV show in like two days, and really like it loved it enough that I was like, okay, I gotta read more. So I managed to get my hands on the whole series, and I'm. Finally working my way through it. I think I'm on book nine right now. So yeah, don't spoil the ending for me because I haven't actually finished the series yet, but I am enjoying it. And it's a quick read too. So, um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun drawing these characters and playing with techniques and color and stuff. And I really wanted to, um, to keep the color palette very cool toned. So I used a lot of blues and a lot of purples and stuff. And all of the browns and reds that I used, and I used the ones that were on the cooler side, and yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I can't really think of what else to say. Just, just I, I had a lot of fun experimenting with this, so I definitely want to 
continue with this technique in future pieces and play around with texture and color more so this was definitely kind of fun um, I had a couple issues with the paper ripping a little bit when I took the tape up. Maybe it was on there too long or it got too wet. I don't know. <laughs> Mostly just a few technical issues with this piece. So, just some things for me to remember for next time. I honestly think like my favorite part of the piece maybe might be Count Olaf in the background just because I had a lot of fun kind of like hinting that he was there and playing with shadows and stuff and um, I hear I'm, I'm putting a little bit more salt in and I did a little bit more um, shadows in the background and then I dripped some more and I had way too much fun with this like with this particular technique like just loading up the paper and making it drip down and stuff was a lot of fun and I definitely want to mess around with that whole idea of like dripping or splashing paint on stuff so I'm gonna have to play with that um, and then at the end here I took my Uniball um, Signal white gel pen and I just went around in some highlights and um, outlined a few things to make things pop and yeah, it pretty pretty basic, but overall uh, I'm I'm pretty happy with this piece. And then the last thing that I did is I took my fine text and I did a little thing in the corner which should be coming up right now. I think. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I did the I did the little the little VFD symbol in the corner with the fine text as a little as a little extra thing because um, it's a big part of the series and I thought it would be fun to kind of make sure that that was present in the piece. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with this and I definitely want to continue messing around with these techniques that I tried out in this piece. Um, I will probably put this up for sale, just not right away. I gotta work on my online store a little bit and I'm out of town this weekend so I can't do it right now. Um, so, but again, um, just keep an eye on like my Twitter and everything and um, once I'm ready to uh, get my store going again I will let people know. And now this video's done, I gotta go console my cat because he's very mad that I locked him out of my room while I was recording. So anyway, that does it for this weekend's video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Toodles!